right? We're talking about the Tzorat. Same thing as in the morning. But here, this is the Sikha, this is a speech that the Lubavitcher Rebbe gave in 1991. We're continuing it. Tomorrow, I hope, God willing, Friday, we will con we'll conclude it. But this is a speech that was given in 19... Uh, then, in that year, Tazria was combined with the next Torah portion, Metzora. But the message is still is still very relevant to this. Year. Okay. So he said, that's the whole thing of Torah HaMetzora. Torah HaMetzora. Said the Rebbe that this whole thing of Torah is because God wants to reveal very high lights in this world, and we cannot accept them. We're not able to accept them. And when we do, we just want to get out of the world. So we misinterpret what godliness is, and we, 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 we how do you say, we react improperly to what godliness is. <clears throat> that a person that gets a little feeling of godliness, he wants to get out of the world, he just thinks the world is bad, it's not a good place, and that's not so. The world potentially is a good place, and the reason, even though actually it's a, it really, a, it is a terrible place, but the reason that we're here is in order to fix it up. So if the world gets you angry, you should know that, oh, this is God giving me a challenge. I have to be positive when everybody else is negative. The world makes you depressed. You say, I have to be happy when everybody else is sad. I have to think about God. Thinking about God makes you happy. Thinking about God makes you calm. Thinking about God makes you productive. <clears throat> Doing what God wants, saying what God wants, this is defying nature, even transforming nature. That's our job. But that's not what happens. What happens when a person gets a little feeling of godliness, he just wants to get away from the world, close himself away, which is necessary for a certain degree. But afterwards, the goal is not that. The goal is to be in the world. Like we had the story, we just had the story last week about the nut of an view that they wanted godliness so much that they just left the world totally. They just died. That's what they wanted. This is something like also, which we'll talk about later, something like the spies in the desert. The Jewish people got out of Egypt and God said, okay, now go into the land of Israel. And they said, what's going to be in the land of Israel? Oh, you're going to plant and you're going to have plenty over there and you're going to win all your battles. And they said, plant, we are going to work on the ground. Battles, we're going to, yeah, but God said, don't worry, I'm, I'll be with you. I'll take care of all your enemies. You're going to be, they said, listen, let's just sit in the desert and just be close to God and feel God's miracles and eat the bread that God's giving us from heaven. What do we have to be involved in the world for? And God got very angry at that. So it's basically the same sort of a thing, how we can, you can take religion in the wrong direction and be selfish. So that's this idea of Tzorat. And what's the cure? What's the cure for this that a person can have high revelations of God and still be in the world, that's the Torah. That's the whole thing of the Torah. When we say move on, that's what, that's what we got up to up to now. When we say from this move on, it's understood, Gam also Benagela Klaus Indian of Gullus and Gula, of the exile that we're in and the future redemption that we're striving for and waiting for and longing for and doing everything we can in order to bring, hopefully. <clears throat> That's that whole thing of exile <clears throat> and redemption. That's nige a matzora. That's the idea of the matzora of this Torah affliction, which is called sorat. Which the Torah, they, all the translators translated as leprosy, for lack of a better word. But I'm not going to use the word leprosy because it's sort of misleading. So we'll just call it sorat. This thing of sorat. This impurity of Tzorat and Torah ta and how to make it pure again. That's the future redemption. Um, <clears throat> this thing of making it pure, that's really a next week's Torah portion. But like I said, the year that the Rebbe spoke this, the, these two Torah portions were uh, joined. Galut, the whole thing of exile, Helen Behester or Eloki. Exile means that a concealment of the light of God. like it says, Lora Inu. We don't see any signs of godliness. The ad until the becomes totally dark. especially 
doubled and redoubled darkness and the end of exile. Mitzad Shoshu Makoro, because of its source, Huinyan Nahla Viotar, it's very, very high. <clears throat> the darkness in the time of exile that God can be concealed really comes from a very, very high source. Orot El Yoni, what's called the highest of lights, Shalomayla Mit Galut Bekelim, that can't be revealed in the vessels. Ad the Bechinish Shalomayla Megile Lagamri, until it's totally above any revelation. Bechinish Yosher Choshech Chitro, the level which is called God makes darkness his hiding place. <clears throat> Haflas oros because of this tremendously high lights that are being revealed. Nishtalshla <clears throat> comes down below. Helen the Hester a concealment. The Choshech kibshuto darkness, like a person that you take him out of a, a room, right? Is put take a person, put him in a room for the even even in a, just a, a regular, you know, movie theater or whatever. They turn off the lights. All the lights go off. If you turn all the lights on suddenly, people just can't take it. They just close their eyes. It's just too much. A light is a good thing. Uh, light is good. Right? God forbid to be blind. It's not good. But all too much light to be revealed at one time that a person can't take it, that also is blinding. But that's what's going on now in the world. Says the Rebbe, there's so much light being revealed in the world that we just can't take it. We have the problem is not in the is God from God's side. The problem is from our side. We haven't got the vessels to receive it. From this comes all the bad things in the time of exile, right? Jews are giving an intelligence, but they don't know what to do with the intelligence. So they sink in all sorts of, of, of strange, destructive things, sometimes this self-destructive thing. Right? They're given the, the, the success. They're given money. They're given what they don't know what to do with it. They're given health. They don't know what to do. Look at and all these wonderful things are given to us, and we don't know what to do with them, so it just spills over. It's just cave and sin, since that the exile is really from a very high place, it comes from these tremendously high lights which are above being revealed. We just don't have the vessel for them. Therefore, even after Nishtal Shalomata, even they come down into this world and they are concealed and hidden and dark. Simply, the till the end with the opposite of purity. In this is only external. Tachtona and the lowest level in Nigim Nigia It's something like it says that that the 